be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, turn on the, the bell notifications on so you know when we're going to post. So anyway, let's jump into today's video. What we're going to be covering is how to tune 808 drums. A simple, easy way to do it. I have this pattern here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to an 808 drum. And I'm just going to let you hear the pattern first. So this is what we got going on. This is the melody I created and I have a clap right here. Alright, cool. So that's our melody. First thing we're gonna we're gonna do is come over here to the scissors. Like after I create, you know, what you want to do is obviously create a new instrument track. Um, use this quick sampler if you have, aren't, don't already use that. Drag an 808 into it and create your sample. But I already had this pulled up. What we're gonna do is go to the um, editor here, and what you're gonna want to do is actually scroll up like this. You can just use your mouse or your trackpad, and you're going to go up to one of the higher notes. That way, it's easier to find out what uh, the note is in, so or what the key is in. So check this out. We'll just play this. Just basically sound it out. So. You want to find a note that's going to work well with this pattern. So, for instance, I'm, I came up here. I first played the C. That wasn't quite what I was looking for. It's this note. So, for instance, now that we know this is an A, all right, we got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We know this is an A. Now, the simple way to make your pattern is to go down several octaves lower on that same A. So, we're going to go down to maybe lower than the C3 so check this out now that I know that's the note I can go over here on the grid and draw out a flat pattern and really you can keep it simple these three notes can be repeated I'm just holding down option, I can drag it over. You know what I mean? Joined it together and now we have a pattern. Now if you don't want the notes short like this, you could just highlight everything by pushing command A, double click on this, and then go down to, or not double click, right click on this, and then go down to trim note into the following notes, or for, force legato. Now what that's gonna do is make the, the 808 sound longer. Now, so the whole trick of this is you want to start several octaves higher. So like for instance, if I was going to try to sound this out without using this trick, um, it might be fought hard. I could easily probably be pushing this one, this note right here, and not really think about it, you know what I'm saying? See how that kind of sounds almost the same, but it's a note right below it. It's a half step lower. So by going up an octave, you guarantee. Say if I was playing this black note, it would be off. So now I know for sure is this note. pretty much the trick man you just want to go a couple of octaves above and sound out the notes there and then from there scroll back down and do the oct uh, go a couple of octaves lower than that and then you'll have the exact same uh, 808 pattern that you need or the exact tune or tone that you're gonna need in your beat so that's today's video I appreciate y'all watching again make sure you subscribe also hit that thumbs up so holla at y'all later